and here I'm riding in car. Yeah, incredible. Didn't ride a didn't ride an automobile for two years or something. But it's like riding a bicycle or motorcycle. You do not forget how to do it. Yeah, this is the car of Mauricio. And Mauricio is the owner of the campground where I'm staying. But he needed to go to San, uh, Santiago for a few days, so uh, he asked me if I could drop him at the bus station. And this is what I just did. And now I'm going back to the campground. It's closed in the meantime, so I'm alone there. I got my privacy just as I like it. But it is a rough road. Going back to my carpa, to my tent. See, this is the, the big truck of uh, Mauricio. He's a uh, well, yeah, well traveled. And this was his truck. He's going uh, uh, around. <laughs> Isn't it super cool? Look at the huge thing. Look at it. <laughs> Well, proper truck. And here's my tent. See the car is in the back there. Burma, hola Burma. Find the machine. Yeah, this is where I am. This is the piece of shit guitar I bought. Oh my God. Playing this guitar is really work. It's not fun. It's it's um it's it's like hate and love. I kind of hate it. Every time I play it, because the action is too high, I try to repair it and set it up. But it's it's just a piece of shit guitar. <laughs> but still better. And then I'm then I'm struggling. Is it is is this guitar better than no guitar? And I'm really I don't know. Like I said, love and hate. Good morning. It was a it was a cold night. I thought the spring is already coming, but um, yeah, it was quite cold. Look at that. Here's my <laughs> It was freezing. But with my new sleeping bag, uh with the dawn sleeping bag, the comfort zone is by uh minus seven degrees, so it was nice, comfy and warm inside. Once you're in the sleeping bag, when you're outside, it was blistering cold. But hey, that's it. Winter at 2500 meters. It can get cold. Hey guys there. While off-roading, you know, riding in the in the desert. Quite bumpy. And then I lost my license plate from <laughs> from my bike. And uh, uh well I contacted the insurance and, and it took two weeks for them just to return my mail. And in the meantime my a uh, friend in, in Austria made a PDF of the of the license plate and I printed it out here at the campground and laminated it and put this on the bike now. And I printed three extras out if I lose one again. But I don't know they, uh, to get the license plate in Austria now, uh, an, an extra one, you need uh, uh, to have the... Uh, 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 to have it tested by the traffic authorities uh, in Austrian standards in, in, in Chile. This is just not possible. And then you have to go to the police and make a, 
I don't know how you call it, a declaration that you lost it. And uh, well, I did that and, and sent it to the to the uh, uh, insurance, but yeah, now it takes three weeks and I heard nothing back. So I guess I stay outlaw and just uh, ride around uh, with my homemade license plate. <laughs> it's Sunday. I'm in San Pedro de Atacama, still on the campground here at Andes Nomades uh, Desert Camp and Lodge. And today, it's Sunday, and uh, Marina and Rino I met a few months ago in uh, Hurtado. They are coming to San Pedro de Atacama, and they're going to stay here on the campground. And they're going to arrive in a few hours. Yeah, looking forward to meeting them again. Have a drink, have a beer, have a barbecue. Nice. And I see them there coming in the back. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome! I think uh, all of the German speaking motorcycle travelers in Chile are now united here, and uh, this is how we set up tent. Check it out. Here's the Swiss part, and the motorcycles, the Kawasaki Versus from Marina and Reno's GS. Here's my 650 BMW X Country, the Austrian part already cooking some water for tonight's dinner washing and laundry day yeah this is how it looks this is how it looks the German quarter in San Pedro de Atacama big day of maintenance this is how it's supposed to be you see this is modern life living the girls working on a motorcycle and the guys doing the laundry Modern people. Uh, gotta love girls working on motorcycles. Hello guys, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Some of you might wonder uh, what I'm doing all the time when I'm alone and around and in my tent. And the big part is uh, taking care about uh, of my gear and repair, recycle and stuff like that. And today it's time for my shoes to be repaired because they fall apart and I love them so much. So and they fall apart in the back here. So I have to repair them and I was looking out to buy some uh, jeans clothes, but I, I couldn't find one. I don't have any, any other clothes. And then when last week I was in in the uh, uh, looking at the beginning of the Val de la Luna <laughs> I lost my drone and I crashed it and I had to climb down into well kind of its restricted area and uh, well and I picked up well my drone I found it there and then I found some garbage I took with me just to make you know a little bit of reason why I'm down there just not before my drone and then I found this hat and it's from the Salade Yoyoni and I cleaned it, I washed it, and uh, but it doesn't fit. I don't like the style of hats. And uh, Marina and Rino, the Swiss guys, they're just here. She's got a very uh, high uh, haircut of dreadlocks. And so this doesn't fit. So I take off the top of it and cut it in half. And so that's to the back of my heels. And then Marina can use it and uh, let her dreadlocks stick out of the head, so it's got a good purpose. And this is what I'm doing right now, recycle. Let's see, that fits very well. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Gonna make myself some new heels. And then... Let's see if it fits for Marina. <laughs> <Ooh -hoo. laughs> ah, I need my 
shoes. Here we go. Bam, ba -dum, bam. Show Marina. <laughs> Look at that, that works perfectly. Here you go. <laughs> Recycle. This is how it looks now. Much better. Hey guys, yeah, it was quite fun. Oh, the off-roading and it's a new day again. And I found out that my rear suspension, you know, the last uh, the last rubber bit, it's usually there, it's only this anymore. So it desperately needs some attention, my suspension. And therefore, I ask Andres, maybe know some place here you can fix it, and he does. 100 kilometers away, and this is where we're gonna go tomorrow. Good morning. Hello. Today, we're going to Kalama, all of us. Marina and Rino to get some stuff from the supermarket and I'm gonna go and have Urma fixed getting a new hip joint and here we go off to Kalama National parks are closed, but if you want to go to the mall, no problem. There you go, you see a suspension, and we headed out, we checked it out, and it's quite bent. And I need a total new, total new suspension for the rear. So there's gonna be at least three more weeks staying in San Pedro de Atacama and wait for uh, uh, the. The new part and so I'm not sure yet where to get it if I get a Wilbur's or if I get an Ölins new rear shock yeah gotta check this out and gotta find a new one well uh, seems I'm gonna stay in the desert a little bit longer <laughs> 